Christmas classic, but with all the other desserts that are around at this time of year, it can lie forgotten in the fridge, which is a real shame. This version actually uses the leftovers from Christmas pudding to make a really delicious, really festive take on the classic recipe. With Christmas pudding, cold, and then you can just sort of crumble it into bits like I have here. Top that with a layer of clementines, but you can use oranges, satsumas, a little bit of brandy, a little bit of cinnamon, because I think that goes really well with oranges and is a really nice Christmassy flavour. Then we're going to put custard, of course, can't have a trifle without custard, whip some cream up, and then we're going to top it with some toasted almonds and just a little bit of orange zest. Now we're going to start by putting the crumbled up Christmas pudding into the glasses. You could also make uh, one big trifle for everyone to dig into if you prefer. Push it down so you get quite a nice compacted layer, a nice base for everything that's going to sit on top. Now we're going to top them with a layer of clementine slices. Just want to peel them. It can be quite difficult to get the pith off these smaller citrus fruits, so don't worry too much about it, but just any big bits, like you know the bit in the middle, just remove that. Now you need to cut them into you know, rings about half a centimetre. Once you've got a nice layer of citrus fruit in all of them, you can put a little more brandy over the top if you like, which will just soak through and into the Christmas pudding. A little pinch of cinnamon on top of the oranges, just to sort of give them that Christmassy flavour. Obviously cinnamon can be a little bit overpowering, so don't go overboard. Time for the most important bit of the trifle, in my opinion, which is the custard. You're probably going to have some custard left over at Christmas time anyway from the Christmas pudding. So now it's time to make the brandy and sugar cream. You just need to whip up some double cream. I'm going to use an electric beater, but you can do it by hand if you're feeling particularly energetic. So just pour the cream into a large bowl. It's important to leave enough room for the cream to whip up and add a good generous pinch of soft brown sugar, that lovely toffee flavour, and then a soup some more brandy. Then just whip it up. We're looking for sort of soft peaks here. There we are, that's perfect. Spoon this on top of the trifles. Very carefully balance it on top. At the soft peak stage, which this is at, it has that lovely sort of billowing effect. And then lastly, we're going to top all of these with some flaked almonds that I've just toasted in a dry frying pan just to slightly colour them and bring out their flavour. And then we're going to finish them off with a little bit of orange zest. You can actually zest the clementines if you like before you peel them. So there you have it, Christmas pudding and clementine trifle. Thank you.